Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Carbon <laughs> Guys, we are back in our Carbon With another banger <laughs> Never ending saga we continue where we stop. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. So where are we moving today? Mm? Where are we going today? Let us say today we are touching our normal place. <laughs> we are even touching Jamaica. And then we are touching Nigeria. The scandal of the pastor from... In fact, I don't want to say it for now. Let us finish our normal and then we will go into the pastor of the year on youtube we started it this year banger for banger hey no going back hey backward never forward now our calling mm -hmm. so let me check let me check let me check where are we going to start hey african tea let me start with you today hey african tigress fire upon you every time and every day my sister <laughs> Don't take it personal. I was so happy yesterday when I saw Africa Tigress posting her video. In fact, I think I was the first person to reach that her channel. I was running Kitty Kata, Kitty Kata, Kitty Kata on YouTube Street only for me to go and get disappointment. Eh? Africa Tigress, see, clickbaiting is allowed, though. Is in fact, is allowed. Even me, you know, guys, I used to clickbait a lot. Was on clickbaiting, eh? Hey, it's on clickbaiting. It can buy person, you know. It's on clickbaiting, no before here. It's not close here. <laughs> hey, African Tigress said she knew exactly that her bestie that we know on YouTube. She just wanted to provoke us. African Tigress wanted to provoke us yesterday because she knew that exactly her bestie that the whole YouTube knows. Is the Mwango. Her ex bestie is the Mwango that the whole YouTube knew. Only for Africa Tigress to come and title her video to say that she's reuniting with her bestie again. <laughs> Guys, come and see. If you have never seen how somebody run on YouTube Street, come and see me yesterday, Kitty Kata. After she went to pick her bestie. I came and saw another girl that I have never even seen with my two eyes. Is the one African Tigress clickbait to give us, eh? To make us run anyhow. In fact, see, Africa T, my sister, you are doing well. The views you are getting, you don't need all these things. Don't give all this, you know, don't give all these uh, maggots or how do I even call it? Don't give them audacity to talk to you anyhow. Is that see if you begin to clickbait your videos like that, Dim Wango will begin to say you are using her to get views, which is not true. You are getting your views from yourself, so stop this one. You are clickbaiting that you want to go and reunite with your bestie, which bestie? Eh? No, they provoke us, Don't stop provoking us anyhow. Let us leave them now. I see Coco Girl and Dim Wango. Hey, they are in fact, they are together now, Coco Girl. <laughs> Hey, after a very long time, I'm happy for you people and I hope to get banger for banger from you guys. Let me leave you guys also for today. Where are we going? We are going now straight. You see, before I used to start my video, I used to tell you guys. In fact, if you have not liked the video, guys, please kindly knock the like at the beginning now as you are entering this premiere. Just knock it, knock it, knock it as you are entering the video. So, we are entering straight, or we are going straight to the Villa eh, Mediterranean in the forest. This guy, they call Gentu or whatsoever. The guy, in fact, why did I even call his name? The fish pond man. I've never seen in my entire life a foolish man like this man. The man don't have sense. The man is so, in fact, he... I don't even want to say you irritate me, but in fact, when I'm watching your video, my head is just knocking on the wall. I will, I will be asking myself, what is he will talking? See, in that Mediterranean Sea, in the swamp in Yabuhaze. Hey, guys, 
You know in this world where you made a mistake and you cannot correct that. In fact, let us not even start that when you made a mistake. You know, all this swamp story is all, all reputation. But it's a series. If you have ever watched series in your life, that is how this series continue to. And we, you know, we, we the reactors and the keyboard reactors, we are only here to give our opinion because all these people is not everything they know. This guy, this fish pond man, he will come like this, like he knows everything. But all he knows is nothing is, in fact, he don't know anything about fish. Let me even put it that way. He don't know because all this guy has been doing, you know, I even saw somebody posted a comment there and it was very nice comment. The guy said, this is what will surely happen when free money is entering. Mm -hmm. When you are getting free money, you don't have plans in your head. Your head becomes as empty as anything. Huh? You know, the mistake this Marwa made in his, in that his swamp villa. The mistake made from the beginning, water is coming out of. In fact, it's coming down. This is something natural that you cannot control except you make a way, very good way, you know. Try your best to make drainage, very good one that that water will be passing. After they make that mistake, instead of them to think, seek for good advice. Seek for intelligent people. Seek for professionals to deal with this water problem in the swamp. They continue creating new problems every day. New problems. Now, very soon, I call it Mediterranean. You people think I'm joking. Very soon, even the sea, even the Red Sea will not be, it will be smaller than that swamp. I'm telling you guys. Even the Red Sea will be smaller. Now, water is full like this in this fish pond. Very narrow, narrow fish pond. They won't plan it not even well and they expect that the water should be clean. See, you people will have, Marwa will have this problem. If he, didn't, if he don't correct that problem well, he will have it till eternity. Even your generation children will come and see that that water will never cease to run because it is something natural. This is nature. And when, it, when rain really come, you are in trouble. Don't think that that fish pond is going to be there. I have never seen people that don't have sense. In fact, sometimes I ask myself, I say, what are they doing? They will keep giving me content every day, giving me what to talk. Making me to talk like a crazy, like I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. Even in my craziness, I bring the truth. You know? Everywhere now in Marwa's house is after making the mistake from the beginning now, they're still creating mistakes, mistakes, mistakes every day. How many more that no sense fish pond is still today? You people are digging and digging water all over. Dirty upon dirty. Guys, I don't want to shout. Let us go and watch this Mediterranean swamp. And then we will come back as usual. Banga for banga. Eh? Fish pond here will have different, different types of the species of fish red and to this fish pond and here we are just going to just rear or we are going to construct this panel or this kind of uh, uh, the wall here so as it can now be reasoned above a little bit so as uh, we are going to rear here what's called the turtles uh, onto this area people will be swimming with turtles you can see the lot of water we have here so we we don't have to just misuse this type of water into this area so we have to construct something constructive that will just keep a hold here and bring that beauty into this area so we are going to just have small bricks or the blocks reasoned above and to that far end and the same level at that far end so as you can now accumulate upside up and we are going to have here people yeah, it's like a swimming pool of uh, the turtles and people at the same time. But the nature is just uh, good. You can now view the fish are just there around that area. No, if whenever it goes a little bit to them, they are going to just uh, uh, trespass from where you are. And uh, we have uh, 410 different 
and the, the just called uh, the fish stocked onto this fish pond whereby there are just different species of uh, fish stocked here which are in number are just 410 and to this place here we are going to stock some uh, turtles and the second fish pond is going to have uh, the uh, monosex male tilapia only and the third fish pond will be just turtles and uh, the tortoise and to that level henceforth uh, everything is just uh, undergoing clear and in a vivid way that uh, the fish ponds are now making shape as you can now see we have water accumulating to the extent we want uh, the water to reach that's the level of water we want it to reach as you can see at that far end we have an outlet uh, protruding the black outlet protruding and to this uh, fish pond here whereby water will now reach up to that area and it will exceed or penetrate to the second <laughs>
uh, grave or how do I even say it? Something long like this you are doing, you are doing, you are making a gutter. In Marwa's house, you say you are making a fish pond. I even pity the fish. He said that they carry, have you ever seen this kind of, I have never seen, these guys are disgracing Kenya. He carry all different types of fish. You know, not even, let's say he put tilapia there, he put mud fish in another side. He said they are carrying even fish, the fishes that are supposed to be in aquarium somewhere and be enjoying life. They are carrying them and putting them in the potopoto of Mediterranean. Poto, correct potopoto of Mediterranean. It's not every fish that want to swim in the potopoto. Go and collect. See, if you don't know, mud fish is, is done or so. Go and carry mud fish and put in that mud. Because all those fish you are putting there, they are not going to survive. Today you are transferring. How do you, do you do like that in your life? That every day you are changing apartment. You are changing apartment every day. That is how you are changing these fishes like this. Every place you carry them and throw here. You carry them and throw here. And you'll be talking like a robot to us. When I was what? You are irritated with that, your robot. In fact, see, you are, you are a robot, as I have told you. You are walking free for months. Pleasing Marwa from morning till night. You don't have job. You don't even know what you are doing. See, he, Marwa is at your age, man. You are there, licking asses of your age, man. You will not go and be responsible just because of YouTube. By the time you people leave, you will not leave him. All of you with a Mawira, or how do they call him? He try even to change his name to Marwa. From Mawira, Marwa, it's not, there's no difference. Try to make even change his name. You people are so vagabonds, or how do I call you people? No entities in Marwa house. Marwa can never do away with these people. Oh, yes. Because they are slaves. A, a, you know, a palace in the swamp need a lot of slaves. That is why you see plenty of them are still roaming in that place. And you tell the black beauty, oh, don't... See, guys, do you know something? You people don't know YouTube. These guys give us everything. And a lot of people, if I don't talk, they are already willing. Black beauty TV, please, when are you going to settle this thing? Please come and check this one. Sometimes I will be asking myself, what are these guys, you guys, they will be looking for me, Black Beauty TV, please come and talk about this thing. It's my job. I'm just delivering. It's my reaction I'm just doing. Even me, personally, sometimes I see the mistakes you people are. You are doing a lot of nonsense in that place. Imagine how mosquito will be crying in the night doing party. Everywhere will be disco of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will be doing disco morning till night. Enjoying life. Hey, see how you create, if you create environment for mosquitoes to dance without resting. You, you want these mosquitoes to be dancing and dance and dance from morning till night. At least human beings, they go to disco and come back and sleep. But now you don't let these mosquitoes to sleep. Because you create an environment that make them that this enjoyment is for life. Party every day. Marwa said that no job. People should just be partying every day. That is why even the mosquito, he don't want them to relax. He want them to be partying every day. Eh? I've never seen such thing in my life. Anyway, guys, let's go and watch Marwa. Why do I call him Marwa? He's the king in the swamp. Mediterranean swam in the forest. Yes. King Mediterranean, the second forest. You are the one. Let us go and watch him. In fact, Salvador. <laughs> Salvador, God bless you. Salvador told Marwa the jacket is smelling. And somebody, Buffalo, 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 one lazy member told me that Black Beauty TV, please ask Marwa, why is Marwa wearing that yellow jacket? And it's true, all these people in the diaspora, you send somebody a ski jacket, a, a winter jacket. You are sending it to a Yabohanze. I wonder if Marwa is the only man in a Yabohanze that is always feeling cold. So, the, the, the blue jacket was a gift. Somebody gave him. They called the man, I think Richard, he's a YouTuber. He said he bought that jacket for himself and Marwa saw it and he liked it. He gave it to Marwa. 
When he went to Mutua, he was with Mutua in the US. One woman brought one gray jacket for him like that. Now he's in the village, another person. He, would, he, did, he was not even using the gray jacket again. He went back to the blue jacket because he wanted another person to send him jacket. Now, you are wearing red. In fact, you are wearing, you are wearing yellow jacket. A yellow winter jacket in Africa. Like you are walking with the sun in your body. <laughs> hey, Lambrowski, Lambrowska, the guy is very shameless. Um, guys, ask yourself, can somebody live in begging forever? Can you live a beggar life till you die? You go and build a garage house. A garage house that no car is coming to park there and pay you money. Eh? A garage empty, empty, non-entity garage house in the swamp. Even if the cars come to park in that kind of garage house, they will be sinking and they, there will be nobody to save them. That is why the cars have even refused to park in that garage house. And do you think that how will you be maintaining that garage house? That is why you pay slaves for YouTube shout out to maintain that swamp garage house for you. King of the swamp, are you not ashamed? You carry jacket. A jacket that is supposed to be winter here. People lying down on the snow. You are walking with it like an elderly man in Africa. Day and night without removing. How will Salvador not tell you your jacket is smelling? The blue one. Even if you are not taking, mistake is not taken. If I go now, if I travel to Yabohanze and check that blue jacket, I might see this lies. Quarter, quarter. Inside. This jacket. And you be, oh, reaction. See, eh, Swam, if you don't change, we are, we gallant, we are here, no movement. Till the Swam change. It is what it is. Let's go and watch his video with the Salvador. Queen and Queen Sal, in fact, a man, Salvador, is the queen in the Mediterranean forest of the Swam. What a shame. Let's go and watch them. You should be so young. Oh, okay, 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 let me say... 80. 80 years old. I'll be like, hey guys, this is Marwa. Today we have at least a thousand volunteers coming from all over the world. I, I, I think I see myself like that. Like that's how I should retire. <laughs> and my horses and with Rosie. <laughs> guys, this is from Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. I've just seen you on the chat from Netherlands. Uh, it says here, greetings from the Netherlands. How do you read? It's Sharon Metisela, right? Sharon Metisela, actually, she's one of my masterclass students. She enjoyed the class so much until she sent me this jacket. Nowadays, I don't remove it. Even Rocio is complaining some days. He says, she says, Marwa, once you wear a jacket, please put it far away from the bed because it was outside. Thank you. And also your chocolate. Yesterday we ate your chocolate, some of it. Yes, thank it's still, you it's for sending here. one of the best chocolates in the, in the world. world. From Switzerland. Yes. yes. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon. And I don't know if Sharon has a YouTube channel, but... What the Never-ending saga. Somebody to donate, donate. 
I remember those days. Hey, Salvador. You remember those days? Those days were those days I cannot forget. When people used to come, donate boxers, <laughs> donate chicken, <laughs> donate everything I needed. I was the king in the swamp. <laughs> You remember that, uh, uh, that uh, wicked woman, Salvador? You remember that uh, wicked uh, woman? The wicked uh, woman used to call me <laughs> king in the swamp. How is she now? She used to be 80. Is she still alive? Is she still making reaction? She has not made reaction for days about me. That is why nobody has come to, uh, to donate. They used to call you Salvador. I remember they used to call you. They used to call you Salvador. The name used to make me laugh. But the name was good. The woman was very, very wicked. She was wicked. Imagine Salvador. She used to call my house the swamp. And now all the slaves have left because uh, I cannot shout on the YouTube and all my subscribers, nobody, all of them are old. Nobody's donated to me again. <laughs> hey, never ending saga. Even when we are old, we continue the saga of old saga. King of the swamp in the swamp Mediterranean forest in the Yabuanze. <laughs> I will be my old age too. You guys should leave me alone. <laughs> Marwa was smelling the jacket. He said when he came to the, if he comes to the house like this, Salvador will say, go and pack the jacket there. <laughs> hey, the jacket used to be like booze. You know what is booze? If you don't know what is booze. <laughs> when Salvador see Marwa with the jacket, he thinks somebody just coming from this local beer parlor. The person is drunk from booze. And Salvador will say, to the balcony. To the balcony, you cannot even open. See, in fact, Buffalo, I am here asking Marwa why he's wearing with a jacket. I don't even know what to tell this guy. I don't, in fact, if you like talk from morning to night, this guy is very shameless. That is how, you see that drama? <laughs> you will watch this video in your 80s and you will remember what I used to tell you. That that swamp, nobody can, in fact, you will not be able to take care of that swamp. Already that swam is not up to one year and is in this condition. Let us see it in five years. Let us know, in fact, I have never, in fact, guys, I don't want to talk about it again. For today, I want us to enter this pastor in Nigeria. I don't want to talk about this Ogamarwa again. Let us just go to this pastor in Nigeria and leave this king of the swam to rest for today. Tomorrow, we come to him with another Banga. Eh? Eh? So guys, it is what it is. I watch this video. Scandalous porn. Scandalous on YouTube. <clears throat> Not only on YouTube, the whole world. If you remember the pastor they used to call TB Joshua in Nigeria. Me, a Nigerian, I don't even know this pastor very well. <clears throat> One thing that has ever saved me in my life. And I thank God for opening. If I got God. Thank you for giving me the Black Beauty TV wisdom. If you get that kind of wisdom in your life, guys, you are free. You are free from any scammer. You are free from any fake person in this world. I don't really want to talk much about this thing because you see all these things, pastor, fake pastor all over. If I want to talk something against uh, about this thing, a lot of people are going to hate me. It's the truth, but you see me, the Black Beauty TV. Guys, collect wisdom in this world. There is no pastor that can save you. I'm telling you guys. You be asking yourself the God that gives you life. He gave you life free of charge. God did not ask you that you should pay me for the life I've given you. And the same life God gave you. He has given, he gave you that life and he gave that pastor the same life and the same gift, the same brain. And you allow any pastor to come and, you know, scatter your brain. See, I am a believer of God. I believe in God very deeply. In fact, 
I love God. I love God more than anything in this world. I love God because I know he's the one who protects me day and night. If I anything I am in this world without God, I am nothing. Mm -hmm. But you see, human being, we, if I, I trust God with my whole life, but no human being should be trusted to the extent you go like this to a church and somebody is bringing conviction on you, you are doing he, he, and you tell yourself that the person is delivering you. Delivering you from what? Delivering you from what? If God himself is not telling you that I'm going to deliver you, how do you think that a human being is going to deliver you from something? A lot of people will disagree with me, but that is my own ideology. That is what I believe in. I believe that God exists. He is always there for me. But I can never take my life and give it in the hands of a human being like me called pastor. A very big scandal in this TV, Joshua, in Nigeria. And the whole world used to go to Nigeria in a synagogue, say they are going for healing. The way God loves you, he loves that pastor. God loves us equally. So, but learn in this world to believe in yourself and believe that if I pray to God from the depths of my heart, he's going to listen to my prayers. I'm telling you people every day, I'm, and see, the guy, one worst thing is that he's dead. He's not here to be held responsible for all these accusations. According to stories, me, I don't know. In fact, I don't even know him too much like that. But according to stories that I am hearing, listening, reading on YouTube, they are saying that the guy decided to kill himself, to buy, because already he knew that that interview was granted. After the scandal of this pastor came, a lot of people are still saying, my father, my father. See, there is nobody in this world to be compared as God. People, a lot of people in this world, they are worshipping this pastor like he is God. You cannot take a human being and God and put them in the same level. Never. God is the, the in fact, he is the almighty of almighties. You can never take God and compare to a male human being that is like you. You people believe in miracles. A lot of this thing is, is happening in Africa because of what? Because a lot of people want to make it overnight. A lot of people think that, oh, oh, I want to, in fact, if I go to this place, this person is going to deliver me. Guys, if you hear the scandal that this pastor, I know a lot of you might have watched this, how many, about three videos from BBC. How this pastor, what he did in Nigeria, the destruction he did, not only to Nigerians, he did this thing even to, in fact, people outside Nigeria. A lot of South Africans even died in that place. A lot of South Africans were victims. People from the UK, all over the world. So the, that is the biggest scandal that is in Nigeria right now. I don't know if I should even play his video, but let us play small because it is the evidence. And then we'll see what to do. So I got married. Four months after saying I do, my husband dies. So he said, hey, I told you. He had a meeting with all the sisters. I had tell Sister Sikle, hey, does anybody here get married without my approval? No, daddy. Uh -huh. Why? Because we are disciples. Sikle, you are stubborn. You are very stubborn. I didn't get it then. We got married. But remember what he said to me the first time? The first time I was called Five Story. Mm. Uh -huh. All these girls here are spiritually connected to me. He took me to not just me, but many of us. Mm. So the prayer mountain that you see is not the prayer mountain that we know. The prayer mm. mountain that we know is, oh God, he's mm. got hats there. Hats. Yeah. Where there's one particular hat of his where there's always candles okay. in it. So if he sleeps with you in that hut, he'll literally put your light down, he'll put the candles around you, and he will wear a red kind of, a red garment, and he'll have his way with you there. In his red garment? Yeah, in that hut. 
while the five stories boys are obviously guarding. They are there looking. That's why I'm saying the five story story boys, their duty was to guard. So they're guarding. To make sure nobody's watching. But while nobody he does knows his that mountain except us. Except the inner circle. But the prayer mountain that he did his things, it's not the same as that one. It's in a different location. So did you ever in your mind did you ever in your mind think, wait, red cloth? This nature that's coming out and all these things. What did you think when you saw it, when, when you put that? I think at that moment you are now completely. Oh, because they've broken you. They've broken you down. You don't. I mean, I've been okay. at the car park. I've been beaten. You have no voice anymore. Like when they say daddy's calling you, it's like your whole system automatically knows that. Okay. We're going to fulfill. I'm going to fulfill whatever that needs to be fulfilled. But then the danger came when you fell pregnant. Because you'd miss your period. And for the first time, that's when I discovered that we have a clinic in the church. <laughs> clinic in the church. Back passage underground. Clinic. Not that they will take Wait, you. It's, it's not like visible. No, you will never see it. We thought maybe, I, you know what, <laughs> she is no longer born again, guys. <laughs> Sise is done with church. That we became concerned. I became concerned. I started speaking, oh, you know what, Sise maybe is no longer born again. Oh. I was just looking at you as that. And so, but part of the journey, I guess, you know, you reconcile with people, you talk and stuff like that. You hear that, no, the person still has a heart for God yeah. and so forth. And they are in their journey yeah. for that. Ah, Bab Chop and he looks at me, he's like, Funanla. Oh, Funanla. I'm like, huh? He's like, are you not Nigerian? I said, no. He says, where do you come from? I said, I come from South Africa. He says, why are you here? Mm. I couldn't answer him. And something in my brain clicked. Clicked. That I need to go home. In the documentary, how most of us, when we left, it wasn't, bye, daddy, we're going. It no, was a plan we all that. planned strategies to, I'm in pursuit of finding the real God. Mm. If God can speak to Ricky and speak to someone else, Nami, let me have my own personal encounter. If God can speak with any pastor, you can also have your own encounter. Guys, this is not even, this is just, I just want to put something. The video I even wanted to put, I didn't know that I deleted the video from my phone. So going there, the video is already deleted. I had to go back and look. If you go to BBC, let me direct you people. Go to BBC Africa and watch the scandal what this pastor did to a lot of women. Not only what he did to women, what even happened in time. In fact, guys, it's the biggest scandal I have ever heard. And the only thing I thank God is that I thank God for me, the Black Beauty TV. I don't believe in. I'm sorry to say this thing. I know there are still men of God, really. There are still people that are doing it with their hearts. But a lot of people have made, a lot of pastors have made people not to believe in pastors. This thing that this woman is talking, she's not only the only person. This is a pastor that, I don't know, that is what I'm hearing, see. Before somebody will come and be telling me something, me, I don't know, I'm just reacting. I'm reacting according to the videos I'm hearing, I'm watching. I'm not reacting from me, no. But from the videos I'm watching. Biggest scandal in Nigeria from a pastor. This is a pastor that the whole world used to go. Millions of people. That is how millions of people die. Just because they go to visit this pastor. TB Joshua. This man just died like that. The most painful thing is that how I wish he's alive. To answer all these atrocities. The video has a lot of things. Guys, if you go there and watch this video of this man. You will start questioning yourself about. Ask yourself about all these. Churches have become business. There are now business centers everywhere. Everybody, if you go, see, if you go, I don't know of other countries. Let me talk of the country I came from and I know I grew up in. If you go to Nigeria on Sunday, on Sunday like this, guys, every corner is having church. 
You see uh, in a street, a street can have 10 churches. They are singing here, they are singing there, they are singing. I begin to ask myself, are yeah, these people really churches? All business, making money, using the name of God in vain. Fake, fake pastors all over the world. <laughs> hey! Fake pastors that will come and deceive you people. A pastor that yeah, is knocking you and making you pregnant. A pastor is knocking you and making you pregnant. You are still calling him daddy. <laughs> hey, God, I thank you for the, for the, in fact, for, thank you for opening my eyes and thank, in fact, I thank God for delivering me from the hands of this kind of people. I thank God for giving me the brain to think for myself. I thank God for giving me the wisdom to understand that anything I want, I can ask God straight from my mouth. I can kneel down in my house and pray to God. This is, the, this is why a lot of people in Europe don't even go to church again. Imagine the scandal. You create a church, and the church is the biggest business in, in, the, in the world. And people, people of goodwill, intelligent people, somebody will tell you that I want to pray for you, and you will say, yes, let me go. It's good, or like sometimes I tell people, please kindly pray for me and all that. Yes, we need it. We need our friends, our family friends, and people of goodwill to pray for us. But when it comes that you go and be paying a pastor, you go and be bowing down. I watched the video in the BBC. They said the people see him as second God. Like the person, the people are seeing this pastor like he was God. And this is how... People travel from all around the world to come and bow, to come and pay homage to this pastor in Nigeria. How many scandals do we want to hear about pastors? Why is it that people in Africa can never be wise? In fact, this one is not only Africa, it's the whole world. <laughs> they say it was occultic, according to the news that I'm hearing. You can hear this woman, what she's saying. When this pastor wants to sleep with them, he will take them to a mountain. A mountain, he will take them to that mountain, put candles and put this red garment. And sleep with them in this red garment. And when they are pregnant, there's a clinic there to terminate the pregnancy. It's not only this woman, there are a lot of them that give... In fact, BBC said that, BBC said that they have been in check of this thing. In this documentary for two years. One woman has been crying in Nigeria, but nobody listened to her. People are still saying that this pastor, in fact, is the best, is the man of God of all. Eh? People love evil. Pray for yourself. If the church has failed you, stay in your house and pray. God will answer you. See, people misquote this church. Church is in your heart. The church is your heart. The church is not one building that you see like this, that you go and enter. No. The church is your heart. Make your heart your church. Serve God in all faithfulness and in truth. And stop going to say you are bowing down for a human being that calls himself pastor and be making you like electric shock. is shocking you. Saying that they are delivering you. May God deliver a lot of people from this, the hands of fake pastors. Because some people, they, are brain, they have been brainwashed that no matter what you talk, they can never, in fact, they will never go back from that. Guys, I don't want to talk too much about this. And I have told you guys, if you want to watch this TB Joshua scandal, guys, go to BBC. Me, the Black Beauty TV, I cannot give you much about this scandal the only thing i can i have to give you is that <laughs> be your own pastor <laughs> hey labruski labroska be your own pastor that is what the black beauty tv can give you guys mm? that is my last word be your pastor pray for yourself if you have family members that want to pray for you your friends people that know you, if you want to tell them please pray for me this is what I'm looking for. You pray for yourself and then you ask people, help me and join me in prayers. And be free from all these scandals we're seeing. 
Anyway, guys, I think we're going to call it a day. A day. We will surely see tomorrow after work. I hope I will have the strength to give you another word of word because I love coming here to deliver, even if not to deliver, but at least to come and say hello to you guys. Thank you for always uh, supporting the Black Beauty TV, guys. I love you from the depths of my heart. As I will always say, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I appreciate you guys for always coming to watch the Black Beauty TV. And yeah, as I have said, stay blessed. That's all I have to say for you. It's me, guys, daughter of the soil and the CEO of the Lazy Gang. I am the pastor of myself. Pastor Reverend Black Beauty TV. Yes, it's me. I love you from the depths of my heart. And I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful evening from my end. It's me, the Lord. And chop your kisses as always. Bye-bye.